the package I've been really, really waiting for. Inside of here are two different components that sat a while in customs. Um, when I had to get custom ordered, it was a huge pain. But without further ado, we're going to get into it, see what we got, see what came in for the project. We got Tyne sitting here with us. He's helping us out today. So let's get to it. This is a part for both the EGROM and for the RX project, the Mojave project. Essentially both of these parts in here allow the Mojave project to get going. So right off the rip, the good stuff, we'll open up the, or we'll pull out the not so good stuff. What do we have here? A little bit of a wiring harness, a Bluetooth adapter, you guys haven't figured out what it is yet you probably will here pretty soon um, let's see what we got next little display for a motorcycle okay oh, they included a power inverter that's kind of cool I already have one but thank you a motor spacer and what do we have here? Man, this thing is heavy. All right. Get this bubble wrap off and see what's hiding under. I can't tell you guys how long I've been waiting for this. The slow boat from China ship. Boom. What is this? This is a 72800. This is a far driver controller. Time, do you approve? Hey, do you approve? I think he approves. This is an 1800 phase amp, 800 battery amp controller. This is for the uh, Grom project. This is how we're going to get the Bach 8000. So we're going to take the Bach 8000 out of the Grom, right? That's an e-bike controller. In all, in all reality, that's what it is. 32,000 watt, 450 amp, uh, 850 battery amp. So this is essentially double the power. So we ran 1305 at 98 or 99 miles an hour before, 0 to 60 and 388 with half the power, guys. So understand this is going to double. This thing is seriously heavy, a uh, huge heat sink on the bottom of it. They sell an additional one if needed. We might have to do that, but it looks awesome. Um, definitely a 72 1800. So super stoked to get this on there. As soon as I get this on that bike, we have the back 8000 to put on the RX. The RX seat is being under uh, done right now by Lorenzo. So we should have that back probably this week to get the ball rolling. So, yep, there we go. Fire driver controller, it's here. Don't fall. All right, so what does that leave us with in the box? There's more. Okay. Right done. I know you had to be in the video. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You had to be a little diva on camera. <laughs> I'll get that itch for you. I'll get that for you, buddy. Huh. Good morning. All right. Let's get the next one opened up. See what we got. Again, I'm sure some of you already know what this is. This is what we've really been waiting for. All right. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. This is a genuine QS205. Um, the reason it took some time to get is I actually drew up this axle on the computer. 
and uh, this is actually the correct length for the Super 73 S2, R, and RX. So this actually will fit the 190 dropout, as you can see, hopefully here on camera. It has a longer axle. Um, it took a little bit of work back and forth with area over there, um, but she was able to get it done for me. So it has a custom dropout, but that's not all that's custom. Jeez, they did not want this coming untied. I can build an e-bike, but not unravel some plastic. Lord help me. There we go. All right. So we got our phase wires, two uh, hall connectors. Everything looks good. I requested a non-orange motor cable, but that's how it goes sometimes. Not a big deal. We can loom it up. Um, but so this is the other thing about this motor is that I had it specifically wound to my liking. Um, so this motor actually will produce 1200 RPM, no, excuse me, 1300 RPM at 72 volts um, with a 20 inch wheel. I probably should have done the math before the video, but I want to say that's probably 70, maybe 80 miles an hour, somewhere in there. Um, technically, even though our bikes are 20 inch fat tire bikes, they're actually about a 22 to 23 inch tire. So add that on with the custom winding and this is going to be an animal. Uh, typically when you go to a higher winding like this, what you end up with is like a torqueless motor, right? Um, so this is probably like a two and a half turn or a two turn. Um, however, we're going to have 850 phase amps to provide it. So it's not going to be a problem. We'll have similar acceleration to what we did on the Z1. Um, and we'll have a higher top speed before we hit flux. So with this motor specifically here, this is wound exactly, exactly like our QS260 that's on the Grom. Um, so what we should see is about the same. We know we're using the same controller. That bike went 1305 and a quarter mile at 100 miles an hour. So this should be capable of that, plus more since it's in a lighter bike, although we have slightly batter less battery amps to deal with. Um, so again, the weight difference per, between the power, I think it's going to be very, very similar to that. Not necessarily say I'm trying to go hundred miles an hour, but that it'll definitely be capable of it, um, and have all the torque that we need. So that's really the only update that I have. We have the speedo for the Grom, but basically we have the components here to remove the Bach 8000, get that all removed from the Grom, put the new controller on there, double the power of that. We have our custom QS205 built specifically for me uh, with the longer axle with the custom winding. This will be going on the RX. We'll take the Bach 8000, slap it on there with the new seat pan. Um, you guys can't see it there, but I have all the batteries and cells for the battery build. So I have everything now needed to get going on the build. This is what I've been waiting for. So now we can go ahead and get that started. So I uh, look forward to that. I appreciate you guys watching another update. I'm sorry there's so many updates, but... Uh, I'm trying to include you guys along the way so that you can see what it really takes to go through this process, how long everything takes, and my process. So um, I'll just grab it really quick while I'm here. Excuse me. You know how it goes. It's a mess in here. But... Uh, We have the tires here, which are the Shinko, uh, what is this, uh, 567. This is a 120 70, 16, so it's a little bit wider. I have the double walled rim here. So we have this to get it spoked. I have some uh, 12 gauge spokes to spoke it with. Um, actually, I have dual sets. I might attempt a cross spoke this time um, versus a radial, mainly because I've enjoyed jumping the bike so much and I just thought that having no spokes would be nicer. Um, however, I'm not a very skilled spoker and the last QS205 was the second thing I've ever spoked. So not too sure if it's going to work out, but I might give it an honest attempt. Um, and so that would be as like a, a lot of these 20 inch wheels, you'll see this, the spokes go vertical with the motor because it's such a short distance. Um, however, some of the guys are actually curving them, bending them and allowing it to be cross spoked. So I might give it a shot again. I might fail at it. I'm not a professional wheel spoke guy. And that's a, that's a talent in itself. So might attempt it, it might work out, it might not, but I might at least give it a try. So yeah, we got the motorcycle tires, serious power. We got the wheel, 
like I said, guys, I've, I've been getting everything, you know, prepared to do this. So soon enough, it'll all be together. It's coming together slowly. So I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you following along. If you thought the Z1 build was sick, this is going to be even definitely cooler than that. So stay tuned. Thank you.